welcome to the 38th lecture of digital electronics subject in the 29th lecture we have dealt with two variable cameras formation of sop standard sop form and standard pos form of two variable camera or a two variable function in this lecture we will be dealing with three variable camera how to form the min terms and max terms of a three variable camera okay so come into three variable camera three variable camera it has three variables okay so three variables therefore the number of possible combinations is 7 that means you have 2 2 raised to 3 minus 1 you have 7 the number of possible combinations is 7 combinations are there okay if it is a two variable k map it is a, if it was a two variable k map the uh, uh, possible combinations is 2 square minus 1 sorry it is 2 square not no minus 1 it is 2 square only yeah this two square you have four combinations. You have four combinations. So four combinations. That means up to zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. And this three is two raised to two square minus one. Okay. Now this seven is you so actually you have two q two q eight combinations and you, you, you should count up to seven. Now uh, coming to three variable camera. So I am going initially I am going with min term. Initially, I am going with min term. Say f of a comma b comma c is equal to one. For uh, is a function. Now, first of all, let me write the truth table. Go into the truth table. So here we are having inputs and outputs. Inputs, outputs. So we are having A, B, C. Okay. So I am having 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay. so being a min term representation I am keeping f as 1 for all terms 1, one yeah now to find the equivalent uh, decimal equivalent of this you are having 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok that is how that is what I have told us 2 raised to 3 minus 1 you have uh, you, you can count up to 7 or you can have 8, eight combinations okay. now if you are drawing the K map if you are drawing the K map of this one okay. here we are having 3 variables A, B and C okay. so here I, I, have, I have two ways I can keep A on one side and B, C on other side okay. so A can have the values 0 and 1 I can have the values uh, 0 and 1. Okay. Now, coming into BC. First, I am writing 0, 0. It is there. Then, 0, 1. Next one is, now see. Here, what happens is that each column is differing only by 1 bit. Now, here what happens, 0 is, the, this 0 is changed to 1. And, this 0 is remaining as 0 itself. That means, effectively, there is only 1 bit change. Again, if I am in, in the next column, if I am writing 1, 0, here what happens? 0 is changed to 1 and 1 is changed to 0. So what happens? There is uh, there is a deferment of 2 bits, which is not allowed in the case of K map. So that 1, 0 combination is not possible in the third column. Now let me check with the other combination. 0 remains as it is, then 1 changes to 0. Okay. Now, if this is the case, what happens? That becomes same as the first column. Okay. 
So if already one column is there, you are not allowed. You are not allowed to make that column once more. So that option is also avoided or deleted. Now what is the only combination uh, which is possible? The only combination which is possible is zero is changed to one, and one remains as it is. Okay, that is the only possible combination. Now the last one, one remains as it is, and this one is changed to zero. Okay. Now coming into the decimal equivalence. Okay. So zero zero zero. That is zero zero zero. It is zero. Zero zero one. It is one. Zero one zero. Zero one zero. It is two. Zero double one. Zero double one. You will get three. Then one zero zero. It is four. One zero one. Five. One one zero. Six. One one one. It is seven. Now here all values of f are one. All the values of f are one. All values of f are one. So I am giving one here. One one one. Okay. Now if I need to keep the, uh, if I need to derive the mean terms, if I need to derive the mean terms, how can I do it? That is the next question. How to derive the mean terms? Okay. So here I should write. A bar, A. Here we have B bar, C bar, B bar, C, B, C, B, C bar. Now, what is the first term in term? M zero, small M zero. That we can write it as A bar, B bar, C bar. M one, M one is A bar, B bar, C. That is A bar, B bar, C. M two is A bar, B, C bar. Small m two is a bar b c bar m three. What is m three? That is a bar b c. A bar b c. M four is a b bar c bar. A b bar c bar. M five. Small m five is a b bar c. M six. M C you should take from here. That is A B C bar. A B C bar. M seven small m seven is what? A B C is A dot B dot C. Okay. So these are the corresponding mean terms of three variable K map. So this is one form of representation of a three variable K map. Okay. Now another form is I can keep Two variables on uh, downside and one variable on upside. So I will show that also. Okay. So the another method is I can keep A B on one side and C on other side. So C I have only two columns, right? Okay. For C I have only two columns. So here I can have four columns. Yeah. This is zero one, zero 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 one. One one and one zero. Now let me write the equivalent uh, decimal equivalence. Yeah, zero zero zero. It is zero. Zero zero one one. Zero one zero. It is two. Zero one one. It is three. One zero zero. Four. One zero one. Five. One one zero. Six and one one one. It is seven. And I am making all the values as one. Now, how to derive the corresponding mean terms? Corresponding mean terms. Okay. So here I can write a bar b bar, a bar b, a b, a b bar, c bar c. Okay. Now, see here what I have is m zero. M zero I can write it as A bar, B bar, C bar. A bar, B bar, C bar. M1. You can write it as uh, what is M1? A bar, B bar, C. A bar, B bar, C. M2. M2. You can write it as A bar, B, C bar. M3. M3 is A bar, B, C. M4. Small M4 is. A B bar C bar M five 
M5 can it does A, B bar, C. M6. M6 is A, B, C bar. And M7. M7 is A, B, C. This A, B, C. So, these are the corresponding min terms of each element. Okay. So, the, so, the, so the, that is the derivation of uh, uh, min terms from three, three variable k -man. Now, next one is derivation of uh, match terms. Match terms from three variable k -man. Derivation of match terms from three variable k -man. Okay. So, to derive the match terms, I am having f of a comma b comma c. All elements are 0. So, here what happens? Again, if I am drawing the truth table, I am having inputs and outputs. So, inputs are a, b, c. Output is f, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. Okay. And keeping all the outputs as 0. And keeping all the outputs as 0. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, corresponding decimal equivalents, I'm writing it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, I am going to draw the K map. To draw the K map, I have three variables, right? So, to draw the K map, I am having three variables. So, A is kept on one side, B, C is kept on other side. So, similarly, I am having two, two rows here and four columns. One, two, three. So, here, here I am going to combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. This is 0, 1. So, how should you write here is, C. Yeah. If it is 0, you should write it as A. This is A bar. Now, this is B or C, first column. This is B or C bar, second column. Third column is B bar or C bar. B bar or C bar. And the fourth column is uh, B bar or C. Now, writing the corresponding decimal equivalence. Zero, zero, zero. It is zero, one, two, three. One, zero, zero. It is four, five, six, and seven. And all the values of F are zero. All the values of F are 0 here. So, the corresponding match terms, so the corresponding match terms can derive from here. What is capital M0? Capital M0 is A or B or C. A or B or C. Capital M1 is a or B or C bar. A or B or C bar. Capital M2. What is M2? It becomes A or B bar or C. A or B bar or C. What is M3? M3 becomes, what is M3? M3 is A or B bar or C bar. A or B bar or C bar. What is M4? Capital M4 is A bar or B or C. A bar or B or C. Capital M5. What is M5? M5 becomes A bar or B or C bar. A bar or B or C bar. M6 becomes A bar. M6 becomes A bar or B bar or C. A bar or B bar or C. And M7 becomes, what is M7? It is A bar or B A bar or B bar or C bar. It is A bar or B bar or C bar. 
these are the corresponding main terms that can be derived from a three variable k map okay this same three variable k map i can draw in the other form also let me let me show that also okay so i can write a b here and c here So C I am having two columns, zero and one. C I am having one, two, four rows. Zero, 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 one, 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 and one zero. So here I can write it as A or B, A or B bar, A bar or B bar, A bar or B. This is C. Sorry, this is just C. And one is C bar. One is C bar. Okay. Now, if I am writing the decimal equivalence, I can write the zero 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 is zero one, zero one zero two, zero one three, one zero zero four, one zero one five, one one zero six, and seven. And all the terms of F is zero to derive the match term. Okay, so now we can write the um, uh, ma match terms as okay, capital M zero that is A or B or C that is this term, A or B or C that is this term, then M one that is A or B or C bar, M one that is A or B or C bar, M two this term that is. M2 is A or B bar or C, A or B bar or C. M3, M3 is this term. That is A or B bar or C bar, A or B bar or C bar. Capital M4, M4 is what this term. M4 is A bar or B or C, A bar or B or C. M5 this term. So you can write M5 is equal to A bar or B or C bar, A bar or B or C bar. M6, what is M6 this term? That is A bar or B bar or C, A bar or B bar or C, and M7, what is M7 this term? That is A bar or B bar or C bar, A bar or B bar or C bar. That are the corresponding. Match terms of a three variable K map. So in this lecture, what we have dealt is uh, uh, three variable K map. Okay. So I have taken an uh, I have we have derived the min terms and max terms of this three variable K map. Okay. So this three variable K map, you can uh, uh, using this three variable K map, you can uh, you can derive the standard SOP forms and standard POS forms. Okay. So with that, I am ending with the lecture of three variable K map. So in the next lecture, that is lecture number 31, we will be dealing with four variable K map and an introduction to five variable K map. Okay, thank you.